Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Design Sense Software Technologies, the BricsCAD sales and support point for India. In this BricsCAD video, I am going to show you how you can apply different scales on a paper space viewport. So we are going to start with a simple rectangle whose dimensions are 100 by 50 and I'm going to then apply the dimension command and create the two dimensions. Now let us say I want to represent this rectangle at different scales in my paper space viewport. How do I do that? So I go to paper space which is also known as layout and I'm going to right click here go to page setup and set my page size as A1. So I'm going to take ISO A1 841 by 594. I'm going to set a printer which is my PDF printer. Orientation is landscape and click OK. Now you can see that my layout has been scaled to the size of A1 which is 891 by 594. I'm going to delete this viewport here and just for completeness I'm going to insert the title block which is TBA1 which is something that I have predefined. It's a simple title block. So the title block has been inserted now and now I'm going to create three different viewports at three different scales. You can create a viewport in paper space using the mview command. So type mview and the default is to create it with two corners which is a rectangular viewport. So that's my first viewport and I'm going to run mview again and create my second viewport and this is my third viewport. So now if I zoom in here and if I right click on this viewport in the properties you can see the scale the standard scale annotation scale and custom scale. So I'm going to change the standard scale of this viewport to 1 is to 1. Now what that means is that the model space dimension and the paper space dimension are shown with a 1 is to 1 correlation. See for example here in model space you can see that the horizontal dimension is 100 and the vertical dimension is 50. Now if you come to paper space I have set this viewport with a 1 is to 1 scale and here you can see that the horizontal dimension which is shown as 100 is also appearing in this viewport with 100 paper space units or in other words it is 100 mm because if you recollect at the beginning we have set the page size or the sheet size as A1. So this point to this point the horizontal dimension of the sheet is 841 mm out of which this dimension is plotted in 100 mm. So 100 from the model space appears as 100 in paper space as well. In other words the scale that you specify for the viewport as 1 is to 1 is nothing but 1 paper space unit equal to 1 model space unit. Now let us look at the next viewport. So we are going to right click properties and I'm going to change the scale of this viewport to 1 is to 2. So the moment I change the scale to 1 is to 2 you can see that the drawing size has reduced here. So which means one unit on paper corresponds to two units on the model. So in model we have 100 units for the horizontal and 50 for the vertical. So that would translate here as 50 in horizontal and 25 in vertical because we have a 1 is to 2 ratio. So you can realize that already out of this total size of 841 what you see here is occupying a space of about 50 millimeters or 50 paper space units. Now in a similar manner I'm going to change this as well and I'm going to set the scale for this viewport as 2 is to 1. So in 2 is to 1 scale 2 units on paper is 1 unit on drawing. So on the model it is 100 units. So here it will get printed as 200 units. So we have three different viewports. This is 1 is to 1, this is 1 is to 2 and this is 2 is to 1 and you can control them easily by just clicking on the viewport going to properties and changing the standard scale. So this is how you set the viewport scales in the layouts or the paper space in BricsCAD. You can see that in the model space the drawing never changes. It is still 100 real units by 50 real units. It's only in paper space that you set the viewport scale as you want and then print it as per your requirement. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.